So in this video, I want to introduce the word analysis tool of AntConc. So let's look at that now. OK, so how do we use the AntConc uh, word list tool? So first, we need to start the uh, software. So I'm going to double click on the software. And if you do that, then this um, interface appears. And as I've explained in other videos, uh, when the software starts, it doesn't have any data showing and you need to load in your corpus. So I'm going to go to File, Open Corpus Manager, and in the Corpus Manager, I'm going to choose the corpus that I want to use for the analysis. And as I've used in other tutorial videos, I'm going to use the AMIO 6 1 million word general English corpus. And from that, I'm going to use the learned subcorpus of academic writing. So this is 80 files with 161,560 uh, tokens in it. OK, so I'll choose that and we're ready to look at the word list tool. So what does the word list tool do? Basically, it shows you the words in the corpus, uh, quite obviously. Uh, if I uh, click on the tool and click start, we get very quickly a list of all the words in the corpus. And we can see here there are 158,15,899 types. There's 161,481 tokens in the corpus. And uh, the first 10 results are showing on the page here. And we can go through and page through all the other results if we want. We can also uh, change the page size and make it say, a thousand uh, results per page and then we have a big long list that we can also then page through like this. I'll put it back to 10 for now. Okay and that's basically the word list tool but there are some useful features here. One is that we can search for individual words of, uh, in the uh, list. So for example if I'm interested in um, finding the word for example between then I can search for that word and I get immediately the frequency and also the range of that word, so the number of files that that word appears in. In other examples, I've been using the word we because I'm interested for, perhaps in how this personal pronoun is used in the corpus as a whole. So if I click on, if I type we and click start, then we can uh, see that we appears uh, 523 times in the corpus with a range of 62, so that's 62 files. And I've also got here a normed frequency. And um, so this can be useful if you want to compare the frequencies uh, in one corpus with another corpus, maybe of a different size. Uh, what else can we do? Well, uh, we can also use wildcards here. So we might want to search for all the words starting with the letter W. So now we can see all the different words with, that start with W. And again, we can paste through these results to see, to see those. Of course, we can't search for phrases here because this is a word list, not a phrase list. If you're interested in searching for phrases, you would look at the cluster tool or maybe the n-gram tool or maybe the Collicut tool if these phrases uh, comprise of words which are not directly next to each other. OK, uh, in the word list tool, um, we can sort by frequency. We can also sort by range. So we can see which, which, word, which word appears in the most number of files. And in this case, it's the word with, with a range of 80, meaning it, appear, meaning it appears in all the um, subcorpus texts. And as with other tools, we can click on a word like with, and then we'll, the AntConc tool will jump to the quick concordance tool here, and then we can see all the occurrences of with in the corpus as a whole, and then we can paste through them. And of course, we can also then click on one of these concordance lines to see the word in its original file. So in this case, file J30. So as with other tools, we can start with the word tool, jump to the quick concordancer and then jump to the file view to see how these words are used in, in context. And if we want to save the results, as with other tools, we 
um, just uh, select everything here uh, by clicking on the top left. Again, you might want to show all the hits first before you do that. Um, there's going to be a long list here of, of um, types, so you have to be careful if the corpus is very large. Um, but there is also an option to save the current tab results as well. So both of these options are completely fine. So if I do uh, click here and copy the results, or use the edit tool to copy the results, then I can go to, for example, Excel, I'll go here, and I can then paste in these results. And you can see here that all the results are now saved as we want. Okay, so that's, and we can also do the same thing Say I want to save that. And similarly, if I go to the file option and save the results, you'll save a plain text file that you can also then open up in Excel or in another tool. So I'll, I'll just quickly show you that. So save the current results. I'm going to go to my Corpus folder. I'm going to call this Word Results, or maybe Word List Results. Save that. And then if I go to the folder here, you can see the word list results. And this again is simply a list of all the words in that corpus. But in this case, only the words starting with the word dub with the letter W. So that's how to use the word tool of Anconc. It's a quite simple tool, but also very, very useful. Thank <music> you.